Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Mike Lonsborough along with Ian Busby of the Calgary Sun. Today we want to talk about uh, what the Calgary Stampeders do for next year after losing to the uh, Toronto Argos in the Grey Cup. Uh, honestly, the fact that the Stamps were even there uh, was a remarkable feat this year because of what ha John Huffnagel had to do with injuries and pasting a lineup together. Uh, I just didn't think they were ever going to get there. Surprised a lot of people. But, Ian, what would you change? Let's start offensively. What do you think some of the changes are going to be, and what do you expect in the, the red and white next year? Well, and as you mentioned, if you get the guys back that they'd missed this year, they're going to have a deep team. They have yep. they played a lot of guys that weren't expected to contribute a lot. You know, on the offensive line, Spencer Wilson and J. Michael Dean, Maurice Price emerged. Yes, uh, you got some. You know, uh, you got some good pieces there. I don't think you need to change much with this offense. Uh, figure out the quarterback situation, obviously, and that's going to be you know a tricky proposition. Uh, if a Drew Tate is healthy and ready to go. Uh, you've got Maurice Price, Marquay McDaniel, Nick Lewis, Romby Bryant's a free agent. You might be able to let him go. Johnny Frizzani back, uh, Jabari Arthur, you got some decent, you might want to add a Canadian receiver. I think that that's the area of the most need. Uh, John Cornish, you might try and get a import running back on the roster and see if you can uh, have a little bit of a change of pace guy. LaMarcus Coker had an awful year this year and maybe he comes back, maybe he doesn't, yep. but we'll see. But offensively, I think this team is set. I think they have a, you know, a good nucleus of what to build with. They just need a guy to take the reins and lead them. Um, one thing I was going to ask you, uh, defensively, what, did you th what were your thoughts? What changes would you make uh, uh, there? Um, Charles Hughes, of course, the man on, de on the defensive line, uh, does he need a little more help? Or are you pretty happy with the way they are? Uh, what they have to do is find a another defensive end. They have to find a defensive end who's less than 36 yeah. and can rush the quarterback and make some things happen. They thought they might be getting that guy with Chris McCoy, and then he blew out his knee. But as this season all went along, it was like they lost guy after guy after guy, and they kept bringing in guys and kept patching in holes. Anwar Stewart did a nice job, but I can't see them going forward with him. You know, he's going to be 37. Not a lot of road left on his tires. They're, they need they need a, a power defensive end. It would be nice to go out and find the next Cam Wake or Philip Hunt, one of the or Justin Hickman, one of those guys that really disrupts the quarterback. Uh, Charleston Hughes is, is a good all-round player. Sometimes he can't be the guy that uh, gets in the quarterback's face with great you know regularity. Uh, he had a rough um, Grey Cup game. I thought he was exposed a little bit um, for his you know. Mobility, foot speed there. Uh, obviously, when Chad Cackert makes an inside move on you like that, uh, it's tough to do. But uh, and then try and find some, you know, another run stuffer in the middle. Uh, Corey Mace is a free agent. Uh, that could be an issue if he wants to walk. So they have some issues on the on the line. Elsewhere, I think the secondary is solid and deep. Uh, if they get Demetrius Morley back with Chris Randall, Fred Bennett, and uh, Jamar Wall, Darius Brooks, that is a group of young sure. guys to complement. You know, Keon Raymond and Brandon Smith. So they're they can just mix and match, find guys for different positions, and things could be that that could be a really dominant secondary next. Were you year. concerned with the safety position in the latter part of the year? Latter part of the year it got better. Eric Fraser yeah. had a you know a rough time mid part way through the year. He, you know, had some ups and downs and then really turned it on at playoff time, which was good for him because he had to I think he had to step up and prove that he could play that position. Now he's a free agent and the team that most desperately needs a safety in this league is probably the BC Lions. So yeah. uh, it would make sense for a Bernie B guy to go home. Sure. Uh, depends on how much he likes Calgary. He's been here for two years, and I think he really enjoys the city and, and being a part of this organization. So that is going to be a you know one of those things to watch during the offseason. <laughs>